Good afternoon, everybody. This is Chris Haynes coming to you on this Thursday, August 20th, 2020, from my office here at First United Methodist Church in beautiful downtown Lexington, Tennessee. I hope that you are having a wonderful day and a great week. Just a couple of reminders for you this morning. Uh, just a reminder that this Sunday we will be resuming our in-person worship at 10.15 a.m. on Sunday morning here in our sanctuary. We do ask that you bring a mask and we'll be observing some extra distancing between our seating. Uh, the balcony will not be available, but the rest of the sanctuary floor will be available for you to sit in. Uh, but if you don't do that, we do invite you to continue to join us on Facebook or YouTube, and we will stream our worship live on Sunday morning. Looking forward to being with you during that time. Uh, our food pantry is continuing to have its distributions on Friday from 1 to 3 p.m., and they are looking for some extra help this week. So if you would be able to come and be a part of the food pantry, even if you've never done it before, we invite you to be at the church Friday a little before 1 p.m. Today I want to read for you another one of those uh, fill-in bridge passages between last week's sermon scripture and this coming Sunday's. Uh, this one today comes from the last chapter of Genesis. Today's passage really also serves as uh, an epilogue to the sermon I preached on Sunday. It really, uh, it's this nice little coda to the theme of forgiveness and how difficult it can be a lot of times for us to really do that. Uh, this story occurs shortly after Jacob, the father of those 12 sons and more daughters, uh, Jacob had died. Uh, Joseph and his brothers had gone back to Canaan to bury him with his ancestors. And this part of Genesis chapter 50 picks up with the story. So uh, let me read for you Genesis 50 verses 15 to 21. Realizing that their father was dead, Joseph's brothers said, what if Joseph still bears a grudge against us and pays us back in full for the wrong that we did to him? So they approached Joseph saying, your father gave us this instruction before he died. Say to Joseph, I beg you, Forgive the crime of your brothers and the wrong they did in harming you. Now, therefore, please forgive the crime of the servants of the God of your father. Joseph wept when they spoke to him. Then his brothers also wept, fell down before him, and said, We are here as your slaves. But Joseph said to them, Do not be afraid. Am I in the place of God? Even though you intended to do harm to me, God intended it for good, in order to preserve a numerous people as he is doing today. So have no fear. I myself will provide for you and your little ones. In this way, he reassured them, speaking kindly to them. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. I love this little section of the story because, I, first of all, I love the part that um, the Bible does not tell us that their father, Jacob, before he died, actually said to the brothers, go to Joseph after I die and make sure he's nice to you. Uh, but it says that the brothers said that Jacob said that. So I'm sort of wondering you know, if that just shows the links they were willing to go to to try to um, make sure that they were going to survive after their father's death. Uh, because they might have been willing to make up something their father said just to uh, stay in Joseph's good graces. But it also shows that even though Joseph had shown his forgiveness toward his brothers for the terrible thing that they had done to him, the brothers had not forgiven themselves. And really, that's the hardest part of all, is when we forgive, 
We can receive forgiveness from others, but sometimes the very hardest part is learning how to forgive ourselves and move on and live in love with each other. So just know that I'm praying for you. And if you find yourself in a situation where it's hard to forgive others, if it's hard to be forgiven, if it's hard to forgive yourself for something, just know that you are not alone in that. It can be a lifelong project, and I pray for you as you continue to work that out with God's help. Today we take time to pray for Caleb Dill, Hannah Rauschenberger, Christy Prokop, Leah Rowland, Lolita Clark, Lynn Henderson, Pam Sanders, Paul Morris, Robbie Kennedy, Slater Hollis, Stephanie McCoy, Charles White Sr., Danny Skates, Thomas Blankenship, and Tom Riney. Let's join our hearts together as we go to God in prayer. O Creator and Mighty God, you have promised us strength for the weak, rest for the laborers, light for the way, grace for our trials, help from above, unfailing sympathy, undying love. O Creator and Mighty God, help us to continue in your promise. Today we pray together for the people of this congregation and of every congregation of believers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who suffer and those in trouble, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who strive for justice in our world, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all workers, especially those who are doing the work of education and health care in this difficult time, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our government leaders, national, state, and local, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the church universal, its leaders, its members, and its mission, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the communion of saints, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Now together we pray using the words that Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. God bless you today. Hope you have a wonderful day. I am probably going to be out of pocket tomorrow on Friday, so I may not be able to uh, be with you for our midday prayer session tomorrow, but know that I'm praying with you. Look forward to worshiping with you on Sunday. God bless you.